Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to look at our hamster bedding bin that has the African night crawlers. Now, it's been a while since we've looked at this system, and it's time for an update to see how it's doing. And it looks like, from what I could tell, I'm looking at it right now in front of me, it has shrunk a lot in mass and is probably going to need more food. So, or when I say food, I really mean bedding material from the hamster bed. So I actually have some that's been sitting down here for about, you know, three weeks or so. We're going to add that probably into the system and we'll see if we can fill it back up and see if they're turning through these wood shavings just as fast as they turn through this paper bedding material. So with that, I just want to remind everyone that these bins are, this is a smaller bin than my uh, red Wriggler bin that I have that has the same type of bedding material. This is a smaller system, so they're going to move through it faster. But these African night crawlers still, it's amazing how fast they can move through this bedding material. So we'll see how many of them are in here, and we'll go through and take a look and see how they're doing with, uh, with these aspen shavings. So that's the real question. These aspen shavings are a little bit tougher to break down, I think, than the cardboard. So with that, let's go take a look and see how this is doing. All right, here's the Verma Bag Max. I have already vacuumed out the fruit flies that were by the top here. There might still be a couple that escaped, but... Either way, we just got to keep moving. As I said, we've got to keep moving with this. So, first off, we've got our little trap in here. This thing is pretty empty, actually. I really need to refill it. I probably will. I'll probably put it back in here, but I'll refill it later. I don't have the stuff down here to do it right now. I'm going to put that over at the corner. And let's take off this front top piece here and see what we've got underneath. Ooh, this looks like it's getting a lot better. So, first off, we've got some castings here on the top and a good, good amount of castings there on the bottom section. So, I'm going to move this off to the side. Try to keep that uh, front up. You can see some worms already on the top here, and they look like they are uh, looks like they are swollen a little bit around their abdomen. So I'm not sure if you can see that really well, but um, it looks like they're a little swollen. So they might be uh, maybe have cocoons or developing cocoons. And let's just dig down here and take a look and see what's going on here. Let's dig on this side over here first. You can see we see more worms, more worms, lots of castings. Some bedding material. Most of the bedding material looks like is now gone. And you can see there's even more worms in here. So this is this is going along really, really well now. This is actually starting to really start moving through these material the material that's in here. Let's see. Still have we still got quite a bit of paper here, but you can see the worms are in here. And look at that, this just crumbles right apart. We still have some of these dry areas as well. But we're just gonna keep mixing those in, and this system's just gonna get better and better as we go. We're going to put that, bury that underneath over there. And you can see also, I don't know if you can see here on these, there's a lot of white dust. This is all this stuff that I've tried to add over the, uh, to try to control these fruit flies that are in here. This is probably a uh, diatomaceous earth mix. So, you know, it's, it's in here, it's fine. But that's also a grit probably for the worms. A lot more paper on this side. This is the side that we've been feeding on typically. Let's just see over here a lot. Yeah, there's just a lot more paper on this side. Not much going on right there. Nice big chunk. You can see a lot of paper still on, on this side. Lots of worms though. They're starting to work at this paper really, really well. That is a piece of plastic in here. Um, I'm going to take that out right now. I'll throw that off to the side. I was expecting to find plastic in here. I've usually been pretty good about not having plastic in my bins, but sometimes they make it into the shredder. But look at this. This is starting to look really, really good. This material. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give this a large feeding. But before we do that, we're going to dig down here a little bit because we're going to feed on the opposite side that we've been feeding on this entire time. Although we do have some coffee grounds right there. But uh, we're just going to kind of pile this up over here. And we're finally to the point now, if I can get this to stay up here. <laughs> All right, well, we'll just kind of dig it out this way. There we go. Okay. We're, gonna, we're finally to the point where we can add a little bit more paper to this bin. So I'm actually going to add some more cardboard to the bottom here because it's not a whole lot, just a little bit. And this is just to add, add a base for the food to sit on, as I typically do in my systems. I like to have a little bit of fresh cardboard because what I'm adding is frozen. And we're going to add quite a bit of food. So the first thing is, is a half container. This is celery and carrot. We've got an avocado peel and some carrot tops. That's our first little, this was a tiny feeding comparatively, but that's okay. We're going to be adding more here. And then the next container is going to be the big one here. This one, I need two hands here. 
This one has a lot of stuff. It's got banana peels, clementines, apple, uh, cantaloupe, lemon, some spinach here in the bottom. So you can see, this is just a massive, massive mix of food. We're gonna move this off to the side like this. Make sure we can fit all this in there. Is that a piece of plastic as well? No, that looks like that's regular cardboard. Okay, just wanted to make sure. I'm just gonna scrape out the last of this lettuce that's in here, or celery, or whatever it is. Uh, this is baby spring mix, so it might be uh, it might be lettuce. But I can't break this apart. It's still frozen pretty solid right now. I'm gonna break it apart a little bit, so you can see. Got a lot of food in here for them to go through. I do have, even though we really don't need it in this system, but I am gonna add a little bit, and that is some of my crushed egg and crab shell here, some of the dust that I've got left in my container. I mean, there's plenty of there's plenty of grit in this system, I feel, where I don't really need it. I usually add that as, as a grit uh, substitute or you know, instead of the regular what they'd find normally in the soil. Now we're gonna add more paper on top of this. We're gonna add quite a bit more than I have in a long time into this system. And that's because I do want to protect the worms a little bit from the cold that's coming off of here. And now we're gonna bury this in as we have done with our other systems, like my, my urban worm bags. And what I used to do with this, we're gonna really bury this in here, just like that. And now what's gonna happen, is, except for this pumpkin stem right here that they're still working on, let me bury that in here too. Um, this is gonna prevent the fruit flies from getting down in there. We've got, by the way, I do have some bones in here. I've just been leaving these in here. Uh, they, they were actually th from a Bokashi system. They're probably not gonna break down, but I've just been leaving them in here to see if they work on them or not see if they eventually disappear. So with that, there's one other thing I think we're gonna do here. We're gonna add a little bit of water in here from my container. This water has a BTI mix in it. And that's gonna hopefully prevent fruit, from, fruit fly larva from continuing to invade the system. I've got my bucket over here, so we're just gonna, because the system is a little bit dry. But not a whole lot. It's not very, very dry, but it's just a little bit dry. We can just add a little bit more water in here. Not too worried about it coming out the bottom. That can happen on these systems, but unless you really, unless you had like a full watermelon or something, I haven't really had issues with that before. So there we go. I think that's good. Just want to get a little bit more moisture in there. Since we added some cardboard and we added food. And this was a little bit dry to begin with, so we can just kind of mix this in here. In here and it's a little bit a little bit moist but it's going to dry out pretty quick as this is going all right let me see if i can get all the stuff off my gloves now now that i mix it in a little bit there we go and that's going to be it for this update let's cover this back up we're going to put our container back in i will have to replenish my fruit fly trap that i've been keeping in here although there wasn't too many fruit flies in when i opened it up before i found that it was you know there was just a few but there still is a little bit left in here so I don't know if you can see that well enough or not, but there is a little bit left in there. So we're just gonna put that down in this lower corner. We do not wanna put it on top of the food because that's gonna sink down. Eventually it's gonna sink down and it'll probably fall over. So hopefully this will sink down and that'll stay where it is. This also means that if fruit flies get up here, they can kind of easily can, you know, make their way down to that container. And that's gonna be it for our update for this Verma, uh, Verma Bag Max. It's doing, it's doing much better than it has been in the past. We're finally getting this uh, fully functioning. We're trying to do an update about once a month. All the food was gone this time, so we might have to try to do it a little quicker, but I've really been trying to wait till that food's gone. I, I do uh, open it up every once in a while, just, just check for fruit flies and vacuum it up, but it's starting to get there. So with that, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below.